Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 91. Today is December 7th, 2023, and the time that life is giving us, we should be so grateful for. There are so many people who don't understand the value in time and caring and giving and sharing. And so to my leaders and to my entrepreneurs who is listening to this podcast, I welcome you and I thank you for being consistent in your own life, going forth and doing what you you know is valuable for you to have to do to move forward. Whether you're, you know, just getting up, going to work, whether you're cleaning your house, whether you're off today and you just wonder, what should I do next, you know? That area of life is so valuable because you're making decisions and you are understanding that everything is interconnected. And in this interconnectedness, every step that each one of us takes on this journey into our future is really and truly molding us to be who we are to the world. What, what legacy we're going to leave on the planet. You know, I was listening to a podcast today and it happened to do with littering. You know, we were taught not to litter. And it's amazing how you throw a piece of gum wrapper out the window because, you know, you just cleaned your car out. You really don't want to put anything, you know, somewhere where it shouldn't be. And then you throw it out the window, right? It's a little piece of, you know, foil. But look at it on a grander scale. Look at it if everyone in that hour in the entire planet would throw a gum wrapper out of it out of the window. That's how we must look at life and judging others and you know gossiping about others in the realm of energy is just going to consume us with more gossip and more you know judgment. So 2024 for me is going to be this is going to this is going to be a journey into my future that is going to help and I hope you will come along with me to really validate the non-hypocrisy like you know we say we're going to do something and then we get into it but then the patterns of our old habitual Patterns, they they show back up. And so what we want to do, what I want to do, what I want you to help yourself to do is realize that these patterns keep us in a habit. And we have to practice on a routine basis of being, perfecting the craft. You know, whether you're an entrepreneur in your first, fourth, fifth, tenth, twentieth year, You understand what I'm saying, that no matter what takes place, your LLC, your sole proprietor, all of that has to involve practice every day. You must get up and you must show up for yourself, for your brand, to be consistent so others will see that this is working in your life. Your manifestation is working in your life. You know, you got to get up and show up. Regardless if you are happy, sad, depressed, broke, almost on the the, the brink of, of losing everything, showing up is the key. Why? Why is getting up and showing up and practicing the key to fulfilling any destiny of success that could possibly be filled because it is the process. It is processing the mind. So even if 
we marinate our minds to believe that this is okay. We're going to get through it. It's going to show up. It's going to be okay. No matter what, even showing gratitude when the kids act up, when the kids don't even recognize us, when we have, you know, crazy chaos going on in our world. We can go on and on and on with all of the examples, but to be grateful is one thing. Not to be happy because, you know, someone, you know, has has lost a job or someone's car broke down or whatever the example, you know, but to be grateful in that moment shows the conscious mirror that this is important. It's how we handle the situation that's important, you know? And, and so that judgment, that, that is something that I really, really want to work on, you know, mindfulness, the personal well-being is all about you putting that energy into you. When you put that energy into you, no one else can take it away. You see what I mean? So it's not the, the house or the dwelling or the the actual paper for certification that motivates and inspires, it is the being within you. And you take that energy no matter where you travel on the face of the planet and you will recognize that you will see more success by letting go and moving into greater pastures or maneuvering the circumstance and the manifestation to what it is you desire. If you don't believe it is so, it will not be so. What is that term? You speak things into existence. Now, I'm a big advocate of the law of attraction. And I believe that the more we see on the physical realm as entrepreneurs in our business, as leaders in our homes, as employees with, you know, higher ups doing things the way that they do them. We know that there's a better way than what we're experiencing right now. But holding that moment of happiness and taking it through the journey with you helps you to realize that, yeah, okay, happiness is not going to always last every moment. But gratitude is the attitude. And that's what I want you to take today. And I'm taking it with me today because there's a lot of things going on in my world. There's a lot of joy. There's a lot of pain right now. And I have to be non-hypocritical. And I have to say, I got to get on this podcast, even through my tears, even through my fears, even through my circumstances, that I will not give honor to. I'm not honoring the chaos. I'm just not going to do it. And no one will ever know what has been done, what is going to be done, but me and my higher power. And in that relationship, that is the most intimate connection in my life. So to sit down and write in my journal about the significance to what I'm speaking prevents others from hearing my weakness to know how to prey upon it in order to motivate my circumstance to become even worse than what it may be at the time. And that's what I want you to understand, entrepreneurs. The reason why people come into your lives to distract is because they know too much of your weakness. Yeah, it can be documented, but the way it's handled is another story. And empowering and surrounding your pe- yourself with people when you call them at a time of chaotic eruption in your life. Be mindful of the individuals you call. See them and put them in a Rolodex form in your, in your 
mental archive and say to yourself, okay, this person is nice, but they don't give me the best advice when I'm emotional. Or this friend is too busy. So even when I try to tell them something, by the time I get midway into it, for them to really, you know, grip their minds around it, they're ready to get off the phone. So that's something that I don't want. I don't want to just give all the negative. And by the time I get a negative, they done ran with it and they're not even, oh, let me call you back. Okay. And then this person over here just don't care. They're going to tell you about their own circumstances. And this is why it's important and valuable that we become our own best friend and that we empower ourselves in order to motivate us to know that we're going to push through this on our own with our own higher power and our being and our ancestors and those God-like sources that is going to give us everything we need in order to be successful in whatever circumstance we're going through. And I just had to get on today to let you know that as a leader in your life, you're going to have to get some practice under your belt and you're going to have to practice even in the midst of the chaos. You're going to have to practice even in the midst of the tears. You know, right now I'm going through some things in my life that I would love to share, but to share them would only multiply them. Entrepreneurs, leaders, did you hear me? To share it would only multiply it. So I refuse to do that. And I stay grateful. I stay empowered. I'm not going to be that one person on the planet that litters because my mindset is, Everyone will litter if I litter. Not because there's a fine to pay, but I just don't like trash. I like to see the naturalness of life, the beauty, the green, the, the universal blessings that the Most High gives us. So why should trash be everywhere? You know, and if we start to look at how things are interconnected, how things are all a part of the journey, the joy and the pain. That's the only way we're going to be able to have the strength to stand up and say, let me keep moving forward. Let me keep going. And sometimes let me be still and let me take that break. Because a break can break it or it can make it. And that's something else I want you to understand. As a leader in your life, if you take too many breaks, it can break it. It can break the future goal of where you're going. But if you take breaks that's necessary and needed, then it's going to feel empowering. And it's going to give you the strength and the stamina to keep moving forward. And that's what I wanted to leave with you. Thank you for being consistent. Thank you for being on time. And thank you for rocking the shoes in which you're walking in because you're doing the damn thing. And I know I am. I'm doing the damn thing. I got to say that for myself on this podcast today. I got to say I'm doing a damn thing because most people would have broke a long time ago in the shoes I'm walking so you keep rocking in the shoes you're walking, and we'll see you next time.